And hello, Mr. Kai. And I, I want to congratulate you on Mofi. It's a heartfelt and eye-opening film about exploring your identity amidst toxic masculinity and homophobia. Thank you so much. Oh, you are so welcome. And at its center is Nicholas, your character. Tell us what got you inter interested in playing him and describe him to us. Um, yeah, I mean, Nicholas is such an interesting and complicated character um, for me. And I, when I read the, the role for the first time, I really felt like it was my role. Um, and I then went through a process of auditioning for, I think, 11 auditions and five chemistry reads over a year and a half. Um, and then I... I uh, uh, yeah, in terms of Nicholas, the character, he's a young 18-year-old that's conscripted to the army in 1981 during apartheid, like many other young men during that time. And during the process of his training up until the border, he finds a spark with someone else called Dylan Stuss, and, and, it, became, uh, and it becomes um, a kind of driving force towards the end of the film. Yeah, you know, was there any trepidation on your part in playing a gay character at all? Not at all. Oh, that is great to hear. Now paint the picture for us on how the LGBTQ community was treated in 1981 in South Africa where the film was set. Well, in 1981, um, being gay was illegal. And so you could be sent to prison for it. And so it was a life and death, uh, death situation in which um, many people had to hide who they truly were. Right, I, I will not survive there. <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> I don't think anyone should be made to survive there. Exactly. Well, Mr. Kai, in a way, we've advanced from that, right? I mean, South Africa now allows same-sex marriage, but in a way, homophobia is still thriving. Do you, do you agree with me on that? Well, I think the thing is, you know, homophobia is not something that's specific to South Africa. It's an epidemic that is faced all around the world. Um, and, pe and queer people are still being persecuted around the world still today in 2021. <sighs> Going back to the film, there are many, I noticed there are many internal monologues here. We're just supposed to feel what you're thinking. And we do feel every single morsel of your thoughts. Um, how did you prepare for those scenes? Um, well, I started, obviously, I started with the script. Um, and then I spent three, three months with Oliver meeting two to three times a week, kind of breaking down the character. But for me, the greatest resource was my father, who had actually fought in that war and hadn't spoken about it prior to, um, I'd never spoken to him about it prior to getting the film. And so uh, interviewing him and getting an understanding of the time and the process of the army, he, um, he was my greatest resource, yeah. Oh, now you, you mentioned Mr. Oliver, the writer, director, Oliver Herman has created a film. He created a film that is at once sweet and also disturbing. How, how was it working with him? He's an absolute dream to work with. Um, he focuses the whole process around the actor and creates a really safe space for you to try out different things. And there's no wrong answer. So I'm really privileged to have worked with him. What about Ryan de Villiers, who plays, he plays Dylan in the movie. Your scenes with him are tender and sweet and innocent and also a bit heartbreaking. How was it working with him? Well, I mean, if you look at him, it's easy to fall in love with someone like that, right? Um, he, he's, he's, he's also the most lovely, kind, generous um, person. And I, I knew him prior to filming. So I was really excited when I got, to, uh, got the privilege of being able to work with him. You know, my, my, my last question, the word mo mofi, which is an African term, derogatory term for gays, acts like a girl, and it's pretty much about a, a loser. Um, it's meant to make that person shameful about his identity. Shame is at the heart of the film, right? Absolutely. Yeah, and, and how it, it refers to your character, Nicholas. Well, a big congrats again on Mofi, Mr. Kai. It's a redemptive story about finding your truth. Thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me. Oh, thank you so much. And good luck on everything, okay? Ciao. Bye.